So I wanted to do a video today about um, the transducer kit. So this is a this I get is a, a cat term I guess transducer. Um, they're air vacs or um, uh, I'm not sure what else they might be called, but I'm sure once I start explaining, you know, there'll be more. Um, it'll be a more familiar term. So basically, what it is is you put you put air in one side of it. You put air in this top side here. And then it pulls a vacuum here. So if you're doing like um, if you're doing like a hose on a, uh, a hydraulic system, you put this on, and then it only um, you only lose the oil in the hose. You don't lose like the tank or anything. It it creates like a suction. It's, it creates a suction which creates a vacuum on the um, on the hydraulic system or whatever. If you if you got to do like a transmission hose, you could do this too. Put on like a transmission system and then it wouldn't lose the oil. I've also used this on uh, like coolant. I had to do a, a coolant on a generator and the um, the petcock was messed up so I put this on there and then it doesn't it doesn't let all the coolant go everywhere until you can change it. So this is a cat part. Um, a cat doesn't manufacture it but they do have a cat part number for this. Um, I'll link that down in the description. So you can get this through cat but it is it's almost double the price through CAT. So I went right to their website. This is um, it's airvacpumps.com, and that's the, the model number, TD260M. So right from them, them air, um, airvacs.com, this was uh, $99 um, free shipping. So I got this on eBay. You can also get it on eBay, too. But there is a CAT part number, so if you work for a cat dealer or something and, you, and they'll allow you to charge it to your truck or whatever I'll put the part number in there but if you're gonna buy it, it it's it's pretty expensive through cat but I the way that I run this is with these air chucks you don't have to I've seen a lot of people use like quick couplers or like just use the pipe but I like to use the, the chucks because you're working on all kinds of different stuff so this is all just different attachments for it that I've come up with so one thing that I've noticed, maybe it's just me, but I always run a regulator on this because over about 120 PSI, they don't work as good. So I always hook the regulator up and I run the regulator to about 110 and then it seems to work the best. So then the way that I always do it is I just have the regulator attached to here and then obviously you put your air hose on there you can just put the air hose on here so you put air pressure in here it creates a vacuum here and then it blows air pressure out here and then there's just all kinds of little attachments that I've had so it's just stuff you kinda of put together so this is um this one's for a John Deere wheel loader you take the uh, hydraulic tank breather off and then that can couple onto there this one is for uh, an AC I actually use this one today this is for like um, you hook this to your manifold gauges and then this this air chuck just chucks into there and I use this to pull a vacuum on AC system I'm gonna do a video on how I do AC using this tool with the gauges I just haven't had a, a good example of that yet so that's another thing I use this for is um, is vacuuming down AC systems and there's just other ones this one's for a John Deere excavator and then the, these ones are for another wheel loader and then they also cat sells these which I'll put the cat part number in there um, and this just is just an expandable plug so this can go in like a, a hydraulic tank or whatever and you just turn this little t-handle and then it expands this out and then that um, that will work so like you can use that on like a excavator or like a wheel loader or something you can stick that in there and then one thing you have to notice too though is like on um, for example on the John Deere wheel loaders you can't you can't just put this in the um, in the tank fill because there's a breather so you have to either plug the breather or that's why I use this one is because you take the breather off and this goes in the breather because if there's a if there's like a vent for the hydraulic tank or something it won't um, it won't pull a suction so I'll put a link to the um, to this website airvac airvacs.com and I'll put the cat part number so this is a call to transducer uh, I'd like to demonstrate it but it's just it uses so much air um, compressed air that it's just so loud and, and I don't really have a good way to demonstrate it if I do I, I'll make a short video or something on how to how how um, it works like in in action but that's what they call the transducer kit or vacuum kit or somebody else might have another kind of a term for it